sometime before Christmas, I think more like Thanksgiving, I attempted to buy Robinson Crusoe Adventure on the Cursed Island, and I had no luck. Uh, it was almost impossible to find this anywhere, other than paying astronomical money for it, and the old version. The new version hadn't been released yet. I saw previews of it. It looked. I liked the artwork on it. I liked the artwork on the old one too. But I liked. I liked the shape of this box, more, uh, more traditional rather than the longer, uh, wider one. That quite frankly, I don't have a lot of room on my shelves for those. So I wanted to get the new rules, the wooden. Uh, pawns for the various players and, and monsters and so on. And I just thought it was a better overall packaging than the original one. And your mileage may vary. I just like the look of this. So let's take a look at it. I've already opened it. So this is more of a showcasing than an unboxing, although I am taking the lid off for what it's worth. So I guess that's somewhat of an unboxing. I'm going to stand up. Yeah, well. All right, so let's see here. Here's the new manual. And it is pretty hefty. We got here about 30 pages maybe, maybe more. So we got here. 40 pages. Right, first part that looks really good too. You get an idea. Looks re it's really nicely laid out, this manual. Print's not too small. I think I'll be able to read it. I've already downloaded it. It's on my iPad. So this will probably stay pretty pristine. The map, I don't believe, has changed from the original. Nice looking map. So I'm going to leave that alone. <clears throat> now here's the cards. I have not taken the cards out of the plastic yet. I don't think the cards have changed at all, but they're really nice quality. So if you haven't bought the game yet and you're thinking about it, cards look like very nice quality. There's plenty of them. Some smaller ones here. And one more way back here. Some idea there. Quite a few cards there. Next, <clears throat> we've got, uh, I'm not sure what all these, to these were the punches that I punched out. Many different things. Compass. Question marks here. I'm not sure what the question marks do. These look like ones that would be played every game. So I put them together. Here are the various players. I put this, their stickers. I put them on these already. As you can see, there's the dog. The white one is Friday. The man Friday. And he's on either side of it. As is the dog, as are the players. And then these dudes right here are only on the one side. The other side of that green one then will be just green. I don't know, take my word for it. All right, <clears throat> some neutral players, I guess. And I said monsters. I really didn't mean monsters. I meant uh, all the players and the neutral players. You've got uh, wounds and things like that. I'm not sure what all that is. If you played the game, you probably have a better idea. These are a lot of the resources. Can I get some idea what each of those are by the shapes? Have you never played the game? Hard for me to say. These are some sort of tokens to keep track of various things. Lots of dice. I like dice. I like dice chucking. You've got the character cards. And these are double-sided. So you've got the male version on one side. And the other version, you've got the other side, you've got the female version of each, which is fine. I like that they did that. So if you're a gal, oh, there's another thing of cards I forgot about up here. There's these two. Lots of cards. I like cards. I like dice. It adds to the randomness of the game. To me, that makes that means that it'll be, it'll play out differently every time, even though my decisions may be similar. The uh, luck <clears throat> will change from time to time. I know some people hate that. Uh, Euro gamers, I guess, would would hate any amount of luck and want all to be strategy. Here's these. These are the. Uh, 
various tiles on the back side. It looks like that. I guess when you flip them over, that tells you what you come across. I don't know the game well enough to tell you what all that means, but there's different looking terrain. As a result, different things happen as a result. I imagine this tells you something about what each what happens on all those. Again, have you never played the game before? Hard for me to know. Then you've got a lot of scenarios, and I, what I like about this game is I already printed off a couple. You've got the first scenario, Castaways, here. <clears throat> so that's a, the basic, you know, you've got to survive through the winter, make a wood pile, make a fire, and get, you know, hopefully get found. And then you've got a scenario on the back, Cursed Island. Each one has different victory conditions. Here's number three. Number four, Volcano Island. Number three was what? Jenny needs help, so you're going to be helping somebody. This is one that I downloaded from off the internet. Kind of cool looking. Uh, natural, the Naturalist gives you a set of things there. And then on the back, explains even more. Same scenario. But I like that. Poachers is one they released Christmas 2015, I think. Just one-sided. That tells you everything you need to know for that one. Those are the only ones I've downloaded. And I've got Cannibal Island. And Family Robinson. And finally, King Kong. That can't be good. <laughs> and finally, uh, you can visit the website and pick up some other stuff. Including... Treasure Island and some other stuff, and I probably will do that. I don't know about I don't know right away. I tend to be a completist on this stuff, which is probably foolish and almost always ex more expensive than it should be. So it's not unlike me. Oops, I'm sorry. It's not unlike me. Let me fix this up here. I bumped it. <clears throat> Things right in my lap, as I've mentioned on other videos. The way the tripod sits just happens to be right in my lap when I'm moving around here. As I mentioned in other videos, <clears throat> um, the uh, the thing is that oftentimes I will have games that I haven't even played yet, but I've gotten expansions for them. Does that make sense to anybody? The expansion sounds really cool. Haven't played the game yet, but I really want to get the expansion. A good example of that would be Viticulture. Haven't played it yet, but I got the Tuscany expansion. Because everybody said, you really need to get the Tuscan expansion. It really adds to the game. So I thought, well, let me get the whole thing. As long as I like the game, it looks like I will. I'll just go ahead and get the expansion. But I've never played the game. So it, it can be, can be uh, I don't know. You can scratch your head on that kind of decision, I suppose. But if you're a collector, you probably have some of that in you anyway. So that's all the stuff that comes with it. It's, it's a lot. For 40 bucks, there's a lot of stuff. And that's what I paid, $40. So I think I think what that means is it's a pretty good deal. And throw these up here. Yeah. Small cards here. The other two big ones here. Something lighter in the middle. Oh, this one on this side. All right, that's a pretty good balance. I want to kind of balance the weight out. And that is Robinson Crusoe. Um, really good quality game. You can see how many awards it won down here in the bottom of the box. I like 15 awards there. So really looking forward to playing this one. You can play it solo. You can change the difficulty of it. It can be played as a cooperative game. I like all that. I think it's cooperative. If I'm remembering what I've read before. What does it say back here? Let me read what it says. You won't be able to read that. Well, you might be able to read it if your eyes are better than mine. You are holding in your hands an adventure game for you and your friends to play as castaways on an uninhabited island. Your task is to build the shelter, ward off potential dangers, and complete the missions. There are seven different scenarios included in the box. They will provide you with new, more difficult, and curious ways to play. Explore the island. Set up camp. Face numerous adventures. Uncover the island's secrets. 
create new items, build tools for faster and safer work. Oh, I like that idea. And survive. Yeah, I believe this is a cooperative game. It's for ages 14 plus. Going to play between 60 and 120 minutes. It's for one to four players. <coughs> and uh, I, I love cooperative games, and I think this is a cooperative game, so I like that. Whether I play with myself or just one other person or up to four, I think I'll enjoy it. The, the uh, component qualities are excellent. I didn't open the map up for you, but really nice map. Something that looks like provides for a lot of possible explorations with the various tiles that you can flip over and so on as you explore the map. And a lot of scenarios, including some user-defined scenarios. So seven in the seven in the set. I downloaded two extras. That makes nine. There's another one that I haven't fully downloaded yet because it has a whole bunch of instructions with it. I thought I'll just wait on that one because it changes some of the basic rules, I think. So various solo uh, variants along with, I'm sure, this, the, you could play all these solo. But some additional solo rules and uh, solo variants. So I'm looking forward to all that. Uh, that's it, guys. That is the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, look for this game. It, it, it is coming back out. This is the second edition, I think, or maybe it's the third edition. It's the latest edition, whatever, whatever one that is. A wonderful game. <clears throat> and, uh, yeah, it looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. I watched it played, read reviews, and now, of course, uh, started to read through the, the rules here. And really looks like it's going to be a great game. I, you know, these awards that it wins, that, that means something. The quality of the components, to me, means something. And I'm really looking forward to it. All right, guys. Thanks a lot. Mm -hmm.